I'm not surprised. Um, you know, just it's tricky to deal with sometimes. And I think the last couple of races we've kind of figured his number. I mean, we ran him back quickly at Oaklawn because he was really difficult to train at Oaklawn. We've gotten him here and he did everything right. But we learned a lesson in the rate the last run at Oaklawn is is that we when we, we got a little trick to take him to the gate because he's known to back up and then he doesn't want to come to the gate. So he's very, you know, he's very much an alpha. He wants to do things his way, but you know, he can run like the wind. And really proud of him. Proud of my team. You know, they, they, they he doesn't make it easy. He's got a spe spe very specific regiment with him. What did you do with the gate? Too? What did you do to try and get? Him to well, when you off? back him up the wrong way, he doesn't want to turn around. He wa he wants to go straight off. And if you back him the wrong way, then he stops and he gets bulky and he didn't want to do it that way for some reason. So we've learned to adapt to him a little bit. How about pressing the pace of a horse that was pretty coming off a pretty solid? Not 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 a surprise, but I think I think the pace was a result of everybody kind of worrying about Rich Strike back there and you know they didn't want to go too fast to set it up for him like it happened a year ago. So he's always gonna have that problem. And when you got a deep closer like him, the, the competition's gonna say, well, we better not set it up for the guy behind us because we know he's capable. He a lot of time after the derby was that he, he had a he had a mild case of distal bone bruising. We weren't happy with him. He, he was just kind of not all there. And um, we actually put him back in training last summer, and I still wasn't happy, so I sent him back to Magdalena again. You know, my farm in Lexington is pretty, pretty uh, handy for that, to be able to give him a little bit of a break. I mean, obviously on everybody's short list for the Derby last year after what he did at two. How good do you think this horse can be at four? Um, well, I, I think we've got a dead aim at maybe the Blame and the Stephen Foster. And we've also got Rattle and Roll in, our, in the same stable mate. So we've got to figure out how to keep those two separated. So you know, it's a good problem to have, right? How much better is he this year than last year? He's a lot better. Yeah, he's a lot, lot better. The time that we gave him for the little distal bone bruising, he really grew into a man. 